Okay, I'm back. I had to charge my phone. Um, eyes, we're doing eyes. I am gonna use palette one today. Palette one is just a bunch of earthy, neutral browns. Um, that's what we're gonna use. Hi ladies. Thanks for clicking on my video. These live videos is how I run my business. It's how I promote my products and you can find all the products that I use. I only use unique products at feelinggorgeouswithashley.com and help me support my business. You can always share my videos. Um, even if you like the videos, if you, I mean, click like on the videos, um, it helps me promote my business. So I always appreciate my friends, even if you don't purchase from me. Um, it means just as much to me for you to like and share my videos because it just helps boost my customers and I appreciate it. Yes, Jesse, I'm still in the nook. It's very quiet today. Kayla went and spent the night with a friend. Dathan has gone to the mall. Nikkei Lee has not came out of her little hole back there yet. So it is super quiet today. I've got, I have been able to drink coffee in peace. I actually got to sleep in a little bit only because Dathan had to be up at 5 a.m. to be in Mermet he plays high school football. So the football team went out to the archery tournament to um, help with parking. So he had to be there at 6 a.m. this morning. So I got to go back to sleep today and um, then he calls at 8.30 ready to be picked up. So, I didn't get much sleep, but I can't complain. At least he's not sitting in the house, so. So this is the second color on the eyes. Um, the first color I used, turn this around, the first color I used was Swanky, and I used it over here on the side, up into the crease. And then I, of course, wiped my brush. And then I went down here to Sincere, and I used it on the inside, up into the crease, and then kind of like add a diagonal that way. Up into the crease. And then use your second color in the corner. And it just kind of blends together. And that kind of gives you like two different colors. Kind of gives you a little bit of dimension in there. So. And then we will go in with an angled brush and use Forthright. Which is this one. Can you, let me raise that up above the words. Forthright. I wipe my brush in between each color. Um, I use a towel, as you can see, and I just, I use a different brush. It depends on if I'm um, using an angled brush or um, this one is a like a liner shader brush, but I don't wipe it unless I'm changing colors. I have, I'm telling you, zillions of brushes, but some of them are just my favorite. So, Nikavely got me um, this whole set of brushes for my birthday. 
and I have found like three of them. Um, it's not that I like those three better, but three of them to use for specific things. A lot of the other ones, I'm not even sure yet what they're used for. So I'll figure it out over time and I guess with experience. Um, but these are actually, these are my unique brushes. Um, so that angled one, I'm gonna use in the crease up here. And you're just kinda gonna windshield wiper that in the crease. And then bring it down like this to kind of make a V. And please try to keep your eyeshadow in line with your eye and your eyebrow. And we will go over here. Shuttle wiper that one in the crease. And it just gives it some dimension whenever you do it like that. So that, Jesse, that would be our third color. This is gonna be our, this is our third color. And just make that V. See that V? And if you feel like you've got it too dark, that's okay. Just can always clean your brush off or switch brushes whatever and just blend it out I try to wash my brushes about once a week just so that they don't um, carry any kind of bacteria I don't need a face infection so see so just kind of blend that out And it won't look so dark. So that's our third color out of palette one. If you want to know how to use more than one color. So then we will go in with spot right there um, I use have you ever heard of perfectly posh um, I know several people that sell perfectly posh um, I use a bar of soap from them it's called gender bender it's a black bar of soap and um, I use I just I seriously just turn the bathroom water on I put my soap down and I just run my brush across it until I, until my water runs clear. And of course I rinse it and it takes till like the next day for it to dry. So if it's something that you know you're gonna need your makeup brush, um, make sure you wash it a couple days ahead of time. And then you can always use your blow dryer on cool and dry that brush. Sometimes I've even taken a towel and show you I've taken a towel you know and kind of dried my brush like this to kind of keep it fluffy um, I do have one brush that I bought from Sephora before I bought my unique brushes that it just hasn't been right since I washed it um, it must be the material in it here it is it has just not been I don't know I just don't feel like it's it's been right since it's still fluffy. Um, I don't know. Maybe it would work now that it's set for a while. I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't care for it. Yes, perfectly posh is amazing. 
Um, my favorite product from Perfectly Posh was their um, lemon berry coconut oil. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And of course, it they quit selling it, so I have some like kind of a backup. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of like fruity smells. I don't like like Bath and Body Works and all those smells and stuff. I don't care for that, but I do love the lemon berry coconut oil from Perfectly Posh. I wish that they would not have stopped selling that. That's awesome. But I have lotion, I have their chapstick, I have their gender bitter soap. Um, what else do I have from Perfectly Posh? I have a bunch of Perfectly Posh stuff. And I've even bought the men's stuff for my husband and my son. Jesse, I have. Let me wipe it off. It's got makeup on it. Um, I have a serum. That's oil, but it soaks into the skin, and it helps with these. You see these creases across my forehead because I talk with my eyebrows up. It helps with those creases. Um, you really have to be careful with what lotion you put on your face because you don't want to clog your pores. I also have um, a time correcting night cream. Now, I don't just use this at nighttime. I use it in the morning also. Um, I use it in the morning and in the evening and this stuff is really amazing. So either one of these, whenever you get home, if you want to try them, I will make you up some samples of them and you can try them and see if they help you. I haven't tried a mask. I use our black mask, um, but I'll, I'll have to try that stripper mask. I've never tried that. Okay. So, we're going to go down here to Elated. Um, it's really light, and we are just kind of going to blend this in at the top. Yes. We have a pore purifying cleanser that has microbeads in it that will help with oily skin. And remember that even if your skin is oily, still put lotion on that skin. Because sometimes our skin is dry, but our face becomes oily to like overcompensate for our dry skin. So if you can find a good face wash and a good lotion, it will help maintain that oil. A lot of people that have oily skin, I did it myself, um, some spots on my face get oily, some spots are dry, and it also depends on what season we're in. I did not put lotion on my face for years, even though I was taught to growing up, because my skin had oily spots. And I did not want my skin to feel greasy combining the oil and the lotion together. Well, then I realized that a lot of times our skin is producing this oil to make up for dry spots. So we have to be able to um, kind of balance that out. So I would definitely do a pore purifying cleanser with the microbeads in it and then get you a really good lotion or like I told Jess, this oil um, to help um, correct that skin. Yeah. So then we are going to take a little bit of this brassy gold and then we are going to just put it right here to kind of highlight the inside corner. My lighting out here is not the best, y'all. So even if you are so used to wearing like your normal neutral colors of browns and tans, you can still do that um, and still update 
your makeup look because times change, everything changes, it is what it is. Um, I don't have to touch up in the middle of the day because one, I use primer um, under my makeup and then I use a setting powder and we just came out with a setting spray. So that keeps everything in place. Um, our lipstick, this liquid lipstick, um, it'll stay. It's not um, a stain, so it is gonna come off a little bit, but it's not, um, it's not gonna just wipe off. Like, it's still gonna be there. Some people aren't huge lipstick fans, and I always tell them to get the Lip Bon Bon. It's like a chapstick, but it's tinted, so it's really light. It conditions your lips, and, um, it just gives them a little bit of tint. It's not a real strong color. It's one of my favorites for days that I just don't want to put on a lot of makeup, but I still need some color on my face because it's just, it's a really light tinted lipstick. But our eyeliner is smudge proof. Um, lips aren't going anywhere. And then of course, if you use a setting powder or a setting spray, yeah, them bad boys aren't going nowhere. It's really hard to see the colors out here right now. But we have on Forthright, Swanky, Brassy, Sincere, and Elated. And then if you want more of that defined look, just take like what I use, I use my concealer brush and I just run it right here. That way that makeup is even with my eyebrow. Just keeps all of that nice and neat. And you can always blend this down more if you want. You don't have to have a strong line like I do. Not everybody wants that really strong line, but it's just, it's all in the blending. It's not as strong. So we will go in with mascara and finish up those eyes. Always put your mascara on the top it gets off any eyeshadow that has fallen on the top of your lashes. Go real deep into the corners. This outside corner all the way to the inside. Our new wand helps spread those lashes out so they don't clump together, which really helps. And then we're going to switch over and use our fibers just lightly, lightly. Roll them on the back of your hand. Put a little bit on the top. And if you get a clump on there, it's okay. It'll come off when you put your 
um, gel back on there. Always let that sit for a second. You go down to your bottom. trying to do this without opening my mouth. Please remember to like and share my video so that um, it helps boost my business. I always appreciate it. And for all the products that I use, you can find them at feelinggorgeouswithashley.com. That's my website. And then we'll go back over the top with gel to lock those fibers in so that they don't go anywhere. is one of my favorite products to put on. Love mascara. You can also use a blow dryer on the cool setting and that will blow extra fibers off your eyes and it will also help curl your eyelashes. So if you have little, short, tiny, straight eyelashes like I do, when you use your 3D Lash Mascara, um, use your blow dryer on a cool setting. Do you see the difference in my eyelashes? Can you see that? It's all in the mascara, honey, because this girl don't have any eyelashes. So now we'll go over, we'll do a top coat. Please don't explain that. And then we will put a coat on the bottom, all the way across. Hi, Brie. I saw your snap. Well, I saw that you sent me a snap. Oh, I will um, check it in just a few minutes. Then we're going to fiber this side. All the way from one corner to the other. to the bottom so that that one hi baby um, we'll do the bottom so that the top can have time to dry
I'm so picky about mascara. And then we will put our top coat back on. So always remember it is gel fiber gel. If you use your blow dryer on cool setting to curl those eyelashes, it'll really help. Setting powder, and that is the look of the day. Thanks.